The earth is flat. <laughs> Hi there all, hope you're having a great day. All day yesterday I had military jets circling overhead. I don't know whether I'm onto something or whether it just happens to be a coincidence, but... Uh, they were circling over my place and I thought I'd capture some video footage of one. Uh, we'll go in for a closer look. And as you can see, just in this shot, he goes behind the cloud a little bit. And then he comes through and goes underneath the cloud. And by now he's underneath the cloud and he's just cruising around. And they were basically circling all day yesterday and actually started uh, the day before around lunchtime. So I don't know whether I'm onto something or what, but uh, anyway, we'll move on. So today I want to have a look at these images where the sun appears to be in front of the clouds or in amongst the clouds. These images are pretty popular amongst flat earthers, this one in particular. But what I want to explain is what is actually happening to cause this effect. And the sun isn't actually amongst the clouds as, as flat earthers claim. Here's another one. So what is actually going on? Well, what is actually happening is the CCD or the film in the camera cannot cope with the level of exposure that the sun is providing as far as the light from the sun is providing. And this causes the film or the CCD to just white out. It just turns white. So any contrast is lost. It just appears to be white. So why do some clouds appear to go in front of the sun and others appear to go behind? Well, it comes down to the density of the, of the cloud. Basically, denser, thicker clouds will block the sun's light more effectively. Therefore, the contrast is high enough that the camera can pick it up. Whereas the lighter, wispier clouds, a lot more sun's light gets through and they fall into that overexposed area of the CCD or film and then appear to be white just like the rest of the sun. So let's look at some other images that will prove that it's impossible for the sun to go in front of the clouds. So here we have a shot from a high altitude balloon. As you can see, there's a lens flare and a bit of a glow from the sun in the upper right hand side of the picture and the cloud is miles way way below it's impossible for cloud to actually get anywhere near that high so here is yet another image from a high altitude balloon showing that the sun is a long way above the cloud there is no cloud there's not even atmosphere much above where the balloon is as you can see the sky goes dark there's no blue haze from the atmosphere. Cloud cannot possibly get that high. So the question begs. Flat earthers use this as proof, yet they show that their sun never gets below that 3,000 mile mark and actually revolves around their flat earth. The images are impossible. They don't prove flat earth at all. And if anything, they only prove that flat earthers are out to grab onto anything that they can conceivably see as a proof that they might be able to convince somebody that there's something not right with the heliocentric model. So yet again, we have another image, and you can clearly see that the atmosphere basically thins out miles away from where the sun is. Cloud cannot possibly reach the altitude that the sun is. Even if it was 3,000 miles above the earth, cloud does not get that high. It's just a fact. So I hope you found this video very informative. If you have any questions, comments, or anything else to say, leave it in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos to come. And... The flat earth is going down. <laughs>